What's up everyone? Welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. I'm Phil, I got a fresh cut, and I'm here to teach you another song section. Today we're gonna be looking at Adele's tune called Make You Feel My Love, and this one's for all you beginners out there. I'll be showing you the chorus from our rookie level arrangement, and that sounds a little something like this. One, two, set, go. All right, 100%. You guys are gonna be able to get 100% too in your apps when we're done with this video. And if you don't have the app yet, well, let me tell you, we got a free trial going on right now, 30 days, all access in the app with zero strings attached, no payment up front. So check that out by tapping this card above, opening it in a new tab, because we got some work to do here in this video first. I'm gonna start by breaking down the right hand melody and then we'll switch over to the left hand harmony, then we'll put it together. You guys ready? The key signature here is zero sharps, zero flats. That of course tells us we're in the key of C major. And the time signature is four two. Just think about that as four four, which means four beats per measure. But we're stretching out the beat into about two times the normal value. We've got dotted bar lines every other measure to symbolize. So really, it's just like 4-4, and when we see the scroll bar going across, it's gonna feel normal as well. If you just follow along with that, you'll be in good shape. But we do this so that the rhythms look a little bit less intimidating in notation. When we get up to the intermediate level or the advanced level, we start to see the normal 4-4 notation. We don't have too many crazy rhythms here in this section, but we do have some hand position stretches and some changes. So let's go over the notes first, then we'll get to the rhythms at the end. We're gonna start with our pinky up on a C, an octave above middle C, right here. Four on B, three on A, two on G, but instead of playing our thumb on F, we're gonna reach all the way down to middle C, and then tie it over. Now we're in middle C position. Next phrase, third finger on E, two on D, one on middle C again, tied over to another whole note. So let's look ahead. Next line down, our pinky's back up to that high C. But this time, we're not gonna move positions. We're gonna go back to the high C. Now we're jumping down to middle C position. Three on E, Two on D, five on G, one on C, and two on D to end it. And then we rest for the final measure. Now what I'd like to do is cue up our backing track so we can play along in time and focus on these rhythms. But first let's do it at a slow tempo, then we'll speed it up to the full speed. Let's try that now. One, two, set. Go, start with rest, C, 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 B, A, G, C, C, tie it, rest, all quarter notes, whole note, tie it over, we got time to look ahead, move up, rest, stay up, look ahead, move down, Okay guys, there we have it at the slow speed. Please pause, rewind, and play back as needed for extra practice. But when you're ready, let's try that same section now, right hand, at full speed. One, two, set, go. All right, 100% for the right hand, that feels good. Just to quickly summarize, we have mostly quarter notes, we've got some tied rhythms, we've got a couple of whole notes. During the whole notes, we can look ahead to what's coming next, and we also have a hand position jump 
in the range of about an octave from a high C to a middle C. So get some extra practice there if you need it before we move on, but when you're ready, I'm ready to switch gears to the left hand, so let's go ahead and do that now. Because this is the rookie level arrangement, instead of playing chords in the left hand, we're going to play single note roots to signify the root of the harmonies. And because of that, we've just got single notes one at a time. And we've also got whole notes, as we can see in the notation, so nothing too tricky rhythmically. So let's go over each one of these roots, and then we'll try it with our backing track. We're going to be down in a C position, the octave below middle C. That means all five fingers are each on one of these notes in this five note position. Pinky on C, four on D, three on E, two on F, thumb or one on G. Our first note is F with our two finger. We're gonna tie it over. Then we see G with our first finger, also tied over. Then we have an E with our third finger for one measure. Then we go to F with two, and then C with five. We'll tie that over. Okay, we're halfway there. Next, we have two on F again, tied over, and back down to C, tied over. And we have D with four, tied over, and G with one, tied over. And that's all there is to it, so why don't we try this now at full tempo? If you're not quite ready for it yet, just go over those notes one more time with me, or as many times as it takes. But because we're doing all whole notes, or tied whole notes, I think we have enough time to try this at full speed and still be able to nail this. Ready? One, two, set, go. Tie it over, and G, tie it over. E, move to F, move to C. Tie and look ahead. D, Alright, so right hand's done, left hand is now also done. We've got 100% on both. Now we're ready to approach the final step of putting these hands together. First, let me remind you that when we're done with this video, there's a lot more of this song to learn. If you want to learn it for free in our interactive app, you can, because we're offering that free trial that I mentioned up front. Tap this card above that says, what are you waiting for? If you want to explore this free trial and see for yourself. In the meantime, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Here we go. First, I would encourage you guys to walk through this hands together without hitting play on the app. In other words, do it with no timing requirements. Don't worry about even timing just yet. What we want to do instead is focus on when the hands play at the same time and on what beats they play separately. Once you have a good grasp of that, then it's time to do what we're about to do now, which is to run through this at the slow speed. So I'll trust that you've done that, and let's go ahead and hit it. One, two, set, go. Look ahead. There we have it at the slow speed, but let's not be in a hurry to go to full tempo just yet. If you need extra practice with the slow speed, please take it. But now, we're going to go to full speed and wrap up this video so you can finish this song in the app with interactive feedback. All right, here we go. One, two, set, go. Hundred percent across the board, we nailed it. Adele, if you're watching, let me know below if you liked my tutorial. Did I help you learn your song? 
Guys, if you liked the tutorial, please let me know below by hitting that thumbs up. If you loved it, hit that subscribe and make sure you tap that bell icon. Well, in the meantime, I'm Phil and I'll see you for the next tutorial. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.